I look high, I look low, I look in everywhere I go. Looking for a home in the heart of the country. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tell everyone I know. Looking for a home in the heart of the country. Heart of the country where the holy people go. Okay, so there's three sections to the song. We've got um, an introduction, a chorus, and uh, a lead section. Basically, it's a lead guitar section. Um, so first of all, um, it's, let's let's go from the very top. Let's first of all look at the chords that we're using. Yeah, we're in standard tuning. And, we're, um, we're don't forget to explain about how you're playing a sort of fuller campfire version than the original one to you know incorporate some of the bass line. Okay, so what we've done, uh, first thing it to re to remember with this song is that um, what what's, what Paul's done on the record is uh, he's tuned down, he's tuned his guitar down uh, to D, basically. So we're not in standard tuning for this one. The guitar is tuned down um, a whole a whole time. So we're D. Our A string is tuned down to G. The D string is tuned down to C. The G string is tuned down to F. Uh, the B string is tuned down to A. And obviously the high E is tuned down to D as well. So slightly tuned lower. So uh, let's look at the chord shapes we're using. First of all, we've got um, a C chord. Uh, we've got an E minor chord and an A minor chord are the chords for the for the first verse. So um, and what we're doing, obviously we're doing sort of um, a campfire version. So what we've got, we've sort of incorporated a few of the bass lines um, into what the guitar is playing, just to sort of fill it out a little bit. So we've got uh, a C chord, uh, first finger on the first fret of the B string, we've got an open G. Uh, second finger on the second fret of the G of the D string, sorry. Uh, third finger on the third fret of the E string, and the fourth finger on the third fret of the A string, which gives us a C chord. And then we've got this finger um, playing the uh, the G note. And what we're going to do is, um, if you look at the right hand uh, picking pattern. Um, We've basically got a pluck there where we pluck the bass note with our thumb and a melody note with our first finger and then basically strum down. So we've got, you know, the bottom top four strings we're just doing with our first finger. So let's try and just get the uh, the right hand picking pattern down first. So what we've got with pluck in, followed by a strum. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And obviously don't forget to play. The E string after the A string, so it's E string, sorry, A string, E string with the thumb, A string, E string, A string, E string, A string. So what we're doing effectively is we've got the bass line in there as well. Etc. Um, the through throughout all the verses, it's that picking style. So that pluck, down, pluck, down, down, pluck, down, bass, down, pluck, down, bass, down. Um, I'll slow that picking down. Um, 
very quickly. So we've got pluck, down, bass with the thumb, down, pluck, down, bass with the thumb, down, pluck, down, bass with the thumb, down, etc. Uh, that is continued throughout the song. So if you look at the chords, we're basically we're using we're going from C to an E minor, uh, which is obviously open open E, uh, first finger on the second fret of the A string, uh, second finger on the second fret of the D string, and uh, G B and E open, which gives us E minor. And we're doing exactly the same thing as we did on the C chord. The same idea: pluck, strum, bass. Strum. So if you were to put the first two chords together, we get followed by an A minor chord, which is open A, first finger on the first fret of the B string, uh, second finger on the second fret of the D string, and uh, third finger on the second fret of the G string, which gives us that sound. And we're doing a Similar sort of pattern, it does change slightly when it goes to the A minor. Um, we basically were going. So we've got pluck, strum, bass, down, up. That. Um, up, down. Pattern. So if you put all of that to, uh, together, we get, and I'll play it slowly. The second time round, it goes to, it's exactly the same, but it goes to an E seventh chord, not an E minor. So we've got open E, we've got second finger on the second fret of the A string. Third finger on the second fret of the D string, first finger on the first fret of the G string, and a fourth finger on the third fret of the B string. Which gives us that E, mark, e uh, seventh chord. Uh, the picking pattern is exactly the same. And back to A minor. So let's slowly run through the verse. One, two, three, four, etc. That is obviously repeated uh, four times for the verse. So that's uh, what we need to remember is that the Second time round is E major, 7th and not E minor, before going to the A. Uh, what I'll do is I'll link now, I'll link the verse up to the chorus. So if we're coming out of the verse. We've got a little um, open E. And the third fret on the E string without a second finger. It's sort of bend, kind of bend that note. It's quite, it can be quite um, sort of aggressive with that note. If you look at the thumb, bend it slightly, and then into the chorus. Basically, jet, um, down strokes. So uh, pluck in the bass note and so down, 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 down with the right hand. If you listen to the recording, what um, occasionally happens is you've got the same idea where it's down, 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 up, down. Up, down. Um, so the first chord we're looking at is an open A. Uh, we're going to bar all of the top strings with our first finger, and then with our third finger, we're going to go on the third fret. This gives us an uh, 
and A, seventh chord, and the same pluck the bass note on the top string. If you listen to uh, the original recording, what we've got is so it's short, sharp notes as opposed to sort of. And you can sort of um, mute those notes with your right hand to go in. Followed by the next chord, which is. Um, so a D7 sort of chord, we've got the third fret on, uh, sorry, the fifth fret on the A string with the third finger. The first fret plays the fourth fret on the, sorry, the first finger plays the fourth fret on the D string. Uh, the third finger plays the fifth fret on the G and then the fourth finger finally goes directly underneath it on the B string. So we get, we get that chord and we're doing the same with the occasional down. So So if you play through that very slowly, going from the bend to the leads into it. One, two, three, four, one, two. Three, uh, three little stabs on the fifth fret. You can sort of pluck all of those, all of those notes you play in the bass with your thumb, and the, these three fingers play the E, the B, and the G string. And I like to um, pick it, or you know, sort of pluck that. The reason being, you can get a lot of attack. Um, from the notes by plucking them that you wouldn't get from strumming them. So we're going. So if you look at that, we've got that chord there, open D, and we're barring the top three strings on the fifth fret. And we're plucking all four, so we're going. It's important to sort of mute the notes afterwards. Uh, the way you can do this is uh, by, by either sort of muting it with your right hand, or you can do it by sort of gently lifting up the finger of your left hand, and which stops the notes ringing. But so we've got what, literally three times, and we let the third time ring out. which then leads us to the lead section. I'll play the lead section and then um, break it down and explain it. So the first thing is kind of looking like uh, at quite a bluesy sort of sound. We're on the eighth, eighth fret on the G string. And we're hammering on to the ninth. So literally, pluck the first note, hammer on, pluck and hammer on. And then we do the same thing, we go to the eighth fret on the B string, but this time we hammer on to the tenth. Pulling back off onto the eighth fret, back to the ninth fret on the G string. Followed by the 10th fret on the B with an open A, which we play with our thumb and instantly mute it afterwards. So, the second part of the lead section is the exact same lick that we just learnt. Except this time it goes, instead of going to the open A, it goes. We move to the 8th fret on the top E string. Followed by um, a bend, we bend that. So it's 
So we're bending the um, the eighth fret um, up to um, the tenth fret. It's actually quite difficult to do this bend with um, only your first finger. So I mean, if bending up to the um, ninth fret works equally as well. So if you put it together so far, we've got those three notes. Remember to mute the notes after, so we're going. You can mute them just by resting your palm on the strings. So the bend meets the string just after the bend. And we're on the 10th fret and the 8th fret of the B string again. And we simply go picking, pulling off and hammering back on. And back on to the, uh, the 10th, sorry, the 9th to the 8th. So I'll run through it very slowly because that's e the, the easiest way to learn this lick. So we're going. Bend. So, which is obviously doubled by the vocals, but doubled by Paul's voice. So we're going. So the counting, the timing is really important. So I'll, I'll, I'll do a count and try and play along if you can. It's going to be a lot slower than the, the recording. So it's one, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four. Once we reach there, we go to an A chord. So we basically we pluck the bass and downstroke with our with our first finger like we've been doing. Followed by a D chord. It's a basic D chord. And we're sort of going, we've got that note there, which is the second fret on the high E. And then we've got the third fret on the B with a, a D in the bass. And following that, we're looking at uh, three bar chords. First bar chord is um, we're barring the, the first four frets of the guitar with our first finger. And then we've got the third fret with our third finger, the fourth fret. Sorry, our third fret in the A string with our third finger. Our fourth finger goes on the third fret of the D string. And then our middle finger goes on the second fret of the G string, which gives us that bass, that bar chord. And then we're basically moving the exact, you know, the exact same bar chord up uh, two frets at a time. So. If you notice, the fingers don't move at all. It's the same shape but um just moves up the fretboard so we're going from the first fret to the third fret up to the fifth uh, with the right hand what you want to be doing is going and muting it straight after and again muting it and then just letting it ring which takes us into the second verse Second verse is identical to the first verse. Obviously, the lyrics are different, um, but it's exactly the same. Exactly the same picking pattern. Um, obviously, it goes back into the chorus. Um, followed by that same. Exactly the same sequence. We then go into the lead section. We've just learned that is repeated as well. 
Uh, then we go back into the after the A chord, D, which we've got. This time, instead of going, we're talking at the we're talking about the second lead section of the song. We've got these chords up here. So we're looking at a, we're looking at a D shape. Um, we look, we, we've learned, you know, a D chord. All it is is this, the D shape chord moved up to the fifth fret, up to the seventh fret, and then up to the ninth fret. And that is at the end of the second lead section. So we've sort of we've covered all all the all all the parts of the song. Um, pay sort of close attention to the phrasing um, with the lead section, um, and obviously sort of play along with the slower down version that I've just done, um, and um, and then obviously put all the bits together, and we should have um, a complete song. So good luck with that, and see you next time.